Hello, in this problem, uh, we have a monopoly that faces an inverse demand of price equals 100 minus Q. The monopoly's total cost of production is given by this equation. Total cost equals F plus Q squared. F is fixed cost. And so the problem we're trying to solve here is what value of F, or fixed cost, does the monopoly break even or make zero economic profit? So we're going to try to solve for the value of F where this monopoly will just make a normal rate of return or zero economic profit. So first we have to find the monopoly's profit maximizing output level and price. So we get monopoly total revenue. Total revenue is price times quantity. So price is 100 minus Q. And that's all multiplied by Q. So I'm just following this setup here. What is price? 100 minus Q given by the inverse demand multiplied by Q. Simplifying, we get total revenue of 100Q minus Q squared. To next, we're going to get marginal revenue uh, by taking the derivative of the total revenue function. We get 100 minus 2Q. And notice that marginal revenue is just the price equation with a slope that is twice as steep. Next, we'll get marginal cost. Taking the derivative of the total cost equation, we get 2Q. So marginal cost is given by 2Q. Profit maximization occurs where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Collecting our Q terms, 4Q equals 100. Dividing through by 4, Q equals 25. Plugging that 25 into the inverse demand, the monopolist will charge a profit maximizing price of $75. So given an output level of 25 and a price of $75, what value of F will this monopoly break even? So recognizing that zero economic profit requires price to equal average total cost, you'll get an equation now for average total cost. So average total cost is total cost divided by output. Our total cost equation from the last slide was fixed cost plus Q squared. Q, Q squared is a variable cost in this problem. And that's all divided by Q. So simplifying, fixed cost divided by Q plus Q. Q squared divided by Q just leaves us with Q. Next, we're going to set price equal to average total cost. The price that we determined is $75 will now equal average total cost. And from the last slide, we know that the profit maximizing output level was 25. So plugging 25 now into the average total cost equation, we're down to this step here. And we're just going to solve for F, subtracting 25 from both sides. So 75 minus 25 is 50. And then in this step here, we're going to multiply both, both sides through by 25. So we get a fixed cost of 1250 And again, what this means is that this monopoly would make zero economic profit if fixed cost equaled $1,250. Alternatively, uh, zero economic profit uh, requires total revenue to equal total cost. Um, so we, we could solve this problem this way. We could have calculated total revenue as price times quantity, the profit maximizing price times the profit maximizing quantity. We get 1875. Total cost is going to be F plus Q squared, where our Q is 25. So setting total revenue equal to total cost, 1875 equals fixed cost plus 625. And now solving for F we get the same value that this monopoly would make zero economic profit if fixed costs were $1,250. If fixed costs exceeded $1,250, the firm would make an economic loss. And if fixed costs came in at under $1,250, the firm would be making positive economic profit. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video.